everyone welcome back to the channel so lately i've been playing quite a bit of stalker shadow of chernobyl and one thing about this game is it looks old and janky so i have been running a few mods and people want to know how do you run them and how do you install them well let me show you what you need i don't use a lot so let me just boom go straight to the web pages where you grab them from come to this page here don't worry about the links because i'm gonna provide them for you in the description down below but this is a pretty good page what we want is ZRP, which is the Zone Reclamation Project. This is like the stable version, so just click on that, download it, then come over to ModDB, because we're gonna grab some hardware models, because the default models just, oh, just hurt my eyes, so grab those by just clicking on that, and downloading, and the same again for the weapons tweak. So there's the original weapons, Renewal 3 for Shadow of Chernobyl. Right, so once you've grabbed all three of those, you can just shut this down, don't need it anymore. And I've just stuck them here in this, uh, this handy convenient folder because let's just go back into Steam. And this should actually work for GOG, that's what I've been told. But I don't actually have the GOG version, as you can see, just the Steam one. Anyway, hit this management cog, okay, and go to manage, browse local files, okay. Now we can get rid of this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start extracting some of these files. Now to do this, you're going to use WinZip or WinRAR or 7-Zip or any other extraction software that's out there. But as you can see, I'm using WinRAR. Uh, they're all free, pretty easy to use. But anyway, so to extract it, where do we need to extract stuff? Well, the first one we need to do is do this. Open this up. This is what I like. WinRAR, because you just open it up and then you can just start dragging stuff over. Drill down. Okay, and we're just going to grab these files here. And we're going to just copy them over. Actually, as you copy them, it extracts them. You'll see a couple of files, or folders rather, turn up here. There you go. We've got these two folders right there. So we don't need this one anymore. Just close it out. And then I'm going to put in the uh, weapons folder. Drill down, go to game data. Drill down again, because then I select everything here. And again, just extract it into the game data folder that was created. Right, okay. Oh, still copying stuff over, or rather it's extracting the contents. Right, and here you would say, yeah, just replace all the files in the destination. Right, once that's done, same again. We'll go to the Shadow of Chernobyl HD models file. Same thing, just drill down, go into game data, grab meshes and textures, and we'll just copy that in here as well, into the game data folder. I know I keep saying copy, but it is actually extracting, so. Right. And once that's done, there's just a couple more things to do. Just scroll up here. See this file? We're gonna open that. Oh, it's opened up in my other window. Let me drag it back over here. Right, come to game data folder and just change this false. We're gonna change that to true. Right, that's done. And then we'll save it. Right. And now we can launch the game, but I just want to show you one more thing here. Now, I don't tend to mess with this too much, but if we drill into the game data folder, there's this little modifier XE here. Click on that. And what you get is a whole bunch of options that you can apply in game. So I suggest you have a look at it. I haven't really messed with this too much, but it's nice to know that it exists. So just come out of there because now we're going to actually launch the game so we bring up the steam front page hit play there you go we're in game as you can see the first thing that's changed here is it's updated the version of the game it usually just says this version 1.0006 and now we have zrp 1.7 uh, let's go to new game I'll just go novice. Right, so I've skipped the intro. As you can see, here are the models. They look pretty good. Let's go here. That's a nice, nice backpack. There's Wolf with his wicked looking guns. 
Alright, mate. Calm down. I bet, I bet Lee, he looks upset. Anyway, guys, as you can see, it was really simple and easy to install. It's not exactly rocket science. And it should work for the GOG version as well. But again, I can't vouch for that because I don't own the GOG version. Try it out for yourselves. If you get any problems, let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, this is Hipkel signing off from the zone.